Okay, so I did a quick change. I put a different top on and I put a different wig on. <laughs> yeah, quick change. Um, yeah, so anyways, in my previous video, I said I wanted to talk about some of the makeup and some of the girl birthday gifts I got. So if you're here for that, stay tuned. I'll also tell you about this wig. Stay tuned. Oh my gosh, I'm just feeling silly. <laughs> yeah, so I had my birthday on Valentine's Day and uh, Jay and I went out to dinner <clears throat> and I'm gonna include some, some shots here. We went out to dinner in probably what is my favorite restaurant here in New, in New England, in New Hampshire. Well, actually it's in Massachusetts, but it's probably my favorite restaurant to go to for a special occasion. I'm a beach lover. I just love sitting and watching the ocean. I, I can just get lost in the ocean. I love walking the beach. I love, I love everything to do with the ocean. I love the smell of the salt air. My license plate, and you actually have to have plates on your car. My license plate says sea mist. A lot of people think I'm saying I'm a sea mist, but I'm not. I'm talking about the sea and the mist. I love, love, love when that, when I see the mist come in from the ocean. It's just, I can't describe it. It's so, for me, it's such a peaceful feeling to be by the ocean. And I love any body of water. I, I mean, I can live on a lake and be perfectly happy, but the ocean just keeps calling my name. I love it. Jay and I used to kayak out in the ocean. We haven't kayaked in a while, but we used to go kayaking out there. Um, so anyways, we went to the sea glass for dinner for my birthday. Took my mom, so it was just Jay and I and my mom. And we had a, I mean, they so COVID, I think, cautious. All the tables were spread far apart. I think in the area that we were in, there were probably two other diners in that whole area. You're required to wear your mask unless you're eating, obviously. So we felt totally comfortable. Plus, we know the place and we go there often or have gone there often. Felt totally comfortable. So we had a wonderful dinner with my mom, and we just chatted, took a couple of pictures. It was really beautiful. Afterwards, I went into the gift shop, and my mom always gives me money for my birthday. And so I went into the gift shop at the Sea Glass, which I really, really like. I have a number of these types of bracelets. Marlene's daughter, Stephanie, had created some. I'll make sure I link her below. Um, but I just love these types of bracelets. So I went in there, and I got these three, and I got this necklace. Well, I shouldn't say I got Well, I did get it, but my mom bought them. So I got this necklace. It's, you know, it's just really pretty. I really like it. And, and so that was gift number one from my mother, aside from the money that she gave me. My mother is very, very generous when it comes to, to gifts. Um, Jay and I, I mean, I just bought what I wanted. I wanted the Apple Watch. I talked about the Apple Watch. This is one of the replacement bands that I have that I got off of Amazon. So I wanted the Apple Watch. I wanted to be upgraded. I had the original Apple Watch 2, I think it was. And so I wanted to be upgraded to the 6 because of the health benefits. The health benefits just being able to track what's going on with your body. And yes, Apple gives you all these warnings. You know, if you feel, you, you know, this or that, go to the doctor. This is not, you know, to replace a doctor or all that. But I get that. I do that ECG, is it called? Every day. So I monitor my rhythm, my heart rhythm, my blood. Um, I was going to say my blood alcohol level. <laughs> my blood oxygen level, uh, my heart rate. I monitor a whole lot of different health benefits on my Apple Watch, which then will keep a record of it. So if something is out of whack, I can just send it to my doctor. And that's really what I wanted. I figured at 67, it's time to really monitor a lot on my own. So I got that. That was a birthday gift that I bought myself. I got my uh, new iPhone. I got that for myself. Um, as a birthday gift joint, you know, from Jay and I to myself because we just buy whatever we want throughout the years, you know, throughout the year. If we can afford it, we buy it if we want it. Um, we don't have to wait for a birthday. But sometimes I like to justify it. Like I wanted the new Apple Watch and I wanted my new earbuds, but I knew I was going to wait. I don't have them in. I knew I was going to wait until my birthday to get them. So I got the Apple earpod, earbud, ear. Buds, earpod, 
AirPod, <laughs> AirPod Pro, I guess. And um, I love it because it has that noise factor that you can black out the noise completely, which is kind of really freaky. I would never have it on that mode if I'm outside somewhere walking because you literally can't hear anything. Like I had it on and the only reason I knew Jay was talking to me is he came up to me and he was like, and I could read his mouth. So you can turn that on and off. You could also make it so it's not so bad, but I absolutely love those earpods. I really do. I'm glad I got the pro. Um, I listen to a lot of audio books. Sometimes I listen to YouTube videos. So when, you know, I mean, when you're busy, I work full time and sometimes I work more than full time. So when you have that type of a hourly commitment to a place of employment, it's really difficult to get videos in. And so I know sometimes I probably miss seeing something that's written, you know, in the video because I'm listening rather than watching, but sometimes it's the only way I can do it. So anyways, um, so I got that for my birthday. It was super fun going there. Then I also got in the mail, I got a gift from Sheila, simply Sheila and with, and from Marlene and, and you guys know Sheila and Marlene and I, we've met up in real life. And in my opinion, when you have that connection, when you feel so comfortable with someone that you'll travel to go meet these virtual strangers, there's something there. There's a bond there, I know. And uh, we did. We met up last year. Jay and I flew down to, when did we go? We went to South Carolina or is it North Carolina? Anyways, we flew down, I think, to um, Charleston. So I think it's South Carolina. I always get this confused. And we stayed in Charleston, South Carolina for a few days for my, for not for my birthday, but the year before in October, September, whenever it was. And we flew down there and um, we stayed in, in Charleston. Then we drove up to the Myrtle Beach area where we met Sheila and her husband and we met Marlene and her husband and we spent a long weekend at Sheila's Beach Place. It was awesome. Beautiful time, meeting beautiful ladies. And even before that, we had such a heavy bond that all of us felt very comfortable meeting. We knew there would be no awkward pauses <laughs> at all. So anyways, long story short, these two ladies just totally blew me away this year. Um, it has been a difficult year for everyone. And I got this package in the mail. And um, the first thing, and I haven't, and I feel bad because I haven't really tried it yet, but I have the truth treatment system and I have a cream this I mean everything everything sounds totally totally awesome I've written out the directions on how to come how to use everything in what order that I'm going to use it I know this was expensive I was totally blown away when I opened the box and I saw these products in there from Sheila and from Marlene I could not believe it could not believe it and also in that box um, Sheila had put in this cream, QMS, which um, I don't know if you have seen her video where she talked about this. And the before and after on her video for this cream is just phenomenal. So she put this cream in there for me. I had bought my own. And, you know, when I talk about eye creams, this is probably, now I'm a heavy, I know, like Sheila said, oh, this will last you six months. It isn't going to last Monica six months. I'm heavy. I put it under my eye. I put it on my eyelid. I still have, I mean, I have a good amount in here. Don't trust me. I mean, but I have been using this daily, twice a day in most cases. And I love this. And I will alternate this sometimes with my City Beauty under eye cream and my City Beauty uh, Relief Roll-On that I really like. So I'll, I'll use them in conjunction sometimes together with this, sometimes not. But this, hands down, has been an awesome eye cream for me. So she'll also send me another one. So in my birthday package, I also got that other one. But that's not it. She also, between the two of them, I was like, oh my God, really? Um, I got this Viseat palette. Now these colors, <laughs> uh, these are pretty bold. But today I actually have this pink pop on my eyelid, which I thought was really cute. Um, I love the blue. And what I did one time when I put the blue, I just put it, oh, stabbed myself. I just put it like in the line under my eye. 
So, and this color is awesome. I'm not too sure about the pinky orangey ones, but, and then she also included this Fenty Beauty, which I have not yet tackled, but I think these colors are pretty cool. So I will definitely tackle that. And to top it off, this is called Cocky Haze by Huda Beauty. <laughs> so it was like, oh my gosh, these are the colors. Um, at a quick glance, I can see one, two, three, four, five, five of these that I know I will definitely use. So I thought that was really, really cool. That, that, uh, unbelievable. These ladies just totally blew me away. And if that wasn't enough, a few days later, um, after my birthday, because the mail is so hor horrendously slow, I got something from from ColourPop, and it was from Marlene. And I'm like going, what the heck, ladies? I was like, I didn't even know what to say. So, Stone Cold Fox. It includes some pictures in here that I took, but it was such a beautiful presentation. I absolutely love it. But I love these colors. Stone Cold Fox. And today I have them all on with, I mean, not all of them on, but my whole eye look is this palette with the exception of this particular color that I just played around with in the center to kind of, you know, put it in there. So the Stone Cold palette, since I got it all week, I've been, I've been really loving it. I love the colors and the, they build up. They don't come on like oomph and you get to remove them. They just come on really, really super nice. They build up nice. I really like them. So Molly and Colourpop. And if that wasn't enough, she gave this most beautiful blush. This is, look at the color. Isn't that pretty? This is Vogue Colourpop Pressed Powder Blush. I just think it's really pretty. I love the presentation. I love the box all of this came in. I, I just, I don't know. It just, it just made me, made me feel so good. And she also said this lippy, which I have on. It's probably the darkest lipstick I've ever had on. But because it was so dark, uh, because it was so dark, it's actually very pretty. But it is dark. I actually topped it with number 45 Rimmel I topped it with to give it a little bit more of a lighter look. And then I just, I just put out, I ended up, what did I, I today I just have the, um, uh, from Bath and Body Works, you know, the, this is the menthol one. So that was like my birthday present uh, from, from Marlene and Sheila. I couldn't believe it. I got the most adorable card from my niece in the mail. She addressed it to Auntie Monica. And the card just brought me to tears. It really did. It was the most beautiful card. The card was awesome on the outside, uh, her message, but her personal message inside was the best. But even before I opened the card, I noticed the stamp. Take a look at the stamp. <laughs> Janice Joplin. Oh my God. Yeah, I thought that was really, I thought that was really, really cool. Um, Aside from my jewelry and my watches and my earbuds, I think, I think I got a ton, a ton of birthday gifts. My and AJ and I went away. We took a ride up to Maine. And we just went up to the lighthouse and walked around, took pictures on the outside. Portland, Maine is really cool. And then they have this lighthouse and this park that's just beautiful. And even in the wintertime with the snow, it was so dramatic. It's so beautiful. So one thing about Maine, you are required to wear masks in public. Anytime you're in public, you know, and the signs are all over the place. So... We put our masks on even if there was nobody around us, you know, and then obviously when there were people around us, I would uh, not around us, would lower it a little bit, but we did, we very, very good. We wore our masks, but we had a great time. So 
yeah, so that's my birthday. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, talking about gifts. And uh, Jay and I getting ready. We're going to go on a trip. We're going to Atlanta for a wedding, and then we're going to take a, a, a couple of days, rent a car, and go out to the coast. And hopefully we'll find some warm weather because, as you can see from the window behind me, it is freezing up here. We are fortunate that we're not like Texas. We've had our ice storms. We've had our, you know, power outages. I think the longest we were without power one time was eight days. Very, very difficult to deal with. As you can imagine, you just get so cold that you can't even function. So it's really horrific. However, for us up here, we're accustomed to that. So as hot as it was for us to not have power for eight days and have this ice storm and not be able to find food and not do this and that, we're accustomed to the cold. My friends in Texas, they're not. So I keep saying to Jay, I mean, as bad, I know how bad it can be and we're accustomed to the cold and we're used to dealing with snow. I just can't even imagine if I was living in Texas or someplace where there, you, ne you never have that. All of a sudden you have it. It's horrific. I mean, you don't even have to deal with that. So my heart is breaking for everyone in Texas and I'm, you know, I'm hoping that, you know, they get relief and whatever has to, you know, happen um, so that their systems work. I'm, I don't know, but praying for everyone in Texas that power stays on and food is on your grocery store and that, you know, there's really for you all. Praying for you all. Oh, my wig. Um, this is actually a very old wig. I want to say, I don't even know. I, this is a wig I bought. Um, I think probably one of my first wigs that I probably bought for myself. So I'm thinking this is like three years. And this is John Minot's Kristen. I really like this wig. I haven't worn it in quite a while, mainly because it does have a lot of hair. It's more high density. Doesn't have, a lot of people say it has a lot of permatease. Mine does not have a lot of permatease. I prefer to have it fluffed up. I actually spritz this with the some sea salt spray to try to get a little bit more of a lift. Yeah, because that's what I like. So anyways, um, this is Kristen by John Renault, purchased by me. I, you can get this anywhere. Sometimes you can get some really good buys on Kristen, on Clarence. I have her in the color Shaded Praline. What is it, 12S, FS8, something like that. And I do like her. And she's longer than I normally wear. But you know what, guys, every now and then, you need a change. And I, you guys know, I look at wigs as like any old accessory that I have. If I put false eyelashes on, you'd probably all go, ooh, look at that. But you wouldn't question it. You know, when I put lipstick on, if I were to wear false nails, you know, it's accepted. Well, hair, fake or otherwise, extensions, wigs, toppers, little bun pieces that I wear all the time, they're just an accessory that make me feel good and make many women feel good. Some of us need this accessory. Some of us enjoy this accessory. Some of us just look better with better hair. Yeah. So anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching and thank you so much for all your support. I'll see you in my next video.